quiet on the Atlantic front of the uh, tropical uh, season here, hurricane season beginning June 1st here. Right now, no concerns for any development in the Atlantic. Now, we always talk about this. Where did we look for development? Near the United States, not in the tropical Atlantic. I wanna show you why. Because when you look at tropical waves coming off Africa, and we have them, the tropical needs uh, wave needs plenty of moisture and low wind shear. We have neither <laughs> in the Atlantic right now. I want to show you the Saharan dust field here. You can see another area of dust about ready to come off of uh, Africa right now. We also have a lot of dust here extending from the Caribbean all the way back uh, into the, the tropical Atlantic. Atlantic. Now, this in itself would shut down production, right? But we have another ingredient that's not going to allow anything to develop. It's called wind shear. Strong winds in the middle and upper part of the atmosphere here. And there it is. You can see it. See this belt of winds in here? This is all wind shear. So nothing survives the Atlantic right now. However, in the Caribbean, you're south of the wind shear and you're kind of south of the dry air. And that's the area that we've been watching for uh, development here. You can see the showers and thunderstorms in the southern parts of the Caribbean. I, I want to show you the wind shear product though, and you could see though, once you get to the latitude of Nicaragua north, a lot of this dark purple showing you the wind shear, right? Light purple, less wind shear. That's in the eastern Pacific. And that's the area of the watch here. As some of these thunderstorms migrate over in the eastern Pacific, we could see development there from June 13th to the 15th. By the way, there's another area we've added a little later right off the Mexican coast next weekend.